Whoa, snakes, 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 snakes. I hate snakes, I hate snakes, I hate snakes. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. In the last part, we, um, we made our way, our way deeper into these caves with Barry. Um, but this time, Barry, instead of him walking away, he's saying to us he's going to stay behind and defend our escape route. So we are left again to go alone. Um, we're going to go for this door first. As we explore around this new level, this new floor level. We're still kind of looking for the stone ring. I believe it's down here somewhere. We've got the magnum... Whoa. What was that noise? Okay, there's a chain monster somewhere in here. Looks like this map is um, designed in like a, a loop. So maybe we can kite the enemy around you know, without it getting in our face. Okay, so he's coming around this way. He moves pretty slow, this guy. So I don't even know if you can kill him. I know you can knock them down if you shoot them hard enough. But for now, we'll just let him chase us. Um, let me just check our inventory. What's it looking like? Yeah, we're not going to pick up that stuff just yet. What have we got? What have we got? We've got a door here. So let's try this door. Actually, those, that was a red and green head back there, wasn't it? So we we'll, might go back for that and um, combine them when we, when we pick them up. It'd be pretty useful. Um, it's like a storeroom of some kind. What have we got? We've got a box we can push. Why would we want to, though? That's the question. Can we do anything with these boxes? We can climb this box. Climb this box. And we've got some. We've got a load of ammo down here. More more magnum rounds. That's pretty good because that's the weapon we're using at the moment. There's um, a stun battery. Yes. And um, there's pistol ammo. We may as well pick that up while we're up here. Just, you know, it's something useful. You can never have too many bullets. So let's drop down. We've done everything up there. I think maybe if we push this box onto this um, lift shaft, maybe something will happen. I don't know. Maybe the, uh, will, it will add weight and it will go down or something. I don't know. Do you know, I don't know why I'm doing that. What's the button say? A device for transporting materials. Start it up. Okay, so we're going to transport that box across. I don't know, we'll probably need that later on. I don't know exactly why we're doing it at the moment. So it looks like... Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe find that later on, you know? <laughs> we might need the box at another point. On the other side. So um, I think we're done in this room. The chain monster is still around here. Um, there's a locked door up there ahead. I think I'm going to go towards it and see what it says. See if we need to find a certain key. Or maybe it's like one of those ones where you open it from the other side. And here we have um, our new friend. I think this is, there's only one monster that looks like this. And this is the same one. You know what, I'm going to have to go the long way around. Because I don't trust this guy. Okay, it's a lever there. Let's pull the lever. Some kind of lever here. Pull it. Yeah, go on. I hope it's not a trap. Okay, so these have come out. What the hell is that? Where is that? It's hard for me to tell where that is. Oh, it's this one. Some kind of mechanical hook. It looks like the door will unlock if you put something special on it. So that door's locked. Okay. I mean, I've seen these hooks before in the mansion, and we got the shotgun off of there. So maybe you can put the shotgun on there? I don't think you will. I think you're going to have to find a different item, to be honest. So, um, let's head back. Oh, God. Okay, that's only a limited amount of time it stays up for as well. So when we find the item that we think might go on those hooks, we'll play around with that. But for the moment, let me try and find the exit. I think it's this way. There's another way to go from where we started with Barry. There's a ladder we can go down. So I go that way next and see what we've got. Maybe the ladder will lead to the other side of where that lift, um, transporting lift, went to. Barry! Oh, Barry, you are a dickhead. So, Jill, in future, never ever trust Barry, okay? It's obvious now. It's so obvious that he's a traitor. You definitely killed um, Eduardo, whatever his name was. Like, what was his name? 
Eduardo, Eric, something, I can't remember. But anyway, he's abandoned us. Okay, here's the box that we were looking, we're not looking for, but there's a box that we transported. Who knows what it's used for? Let's push it out. It's obviously going to be used for something. Okay, let's just get out the way for the moment, and we'll see what all this stuff is over here. What does this say? A garbage compactor. There's a switch, press it, and before we press it, let's put the box in there. Because what else are we going to do with the box? Alright, so, I don't know why we do- maybe there's something inside the box that's like really useful. Maybe the item that we need to put on the hooks is in the, inside the box. <laughs> that animation. So we'll jump down the hole now, and hopefully there's something inside we can... Yeah, okay, that looks like a flamethrower. <laughs> okay. Let's jump down. Will you take the broken, broken flamethrower? Okay. So maybe the broken flamethrower goes on the hooks. We've also got a broken shotgun that we got a long time ago. Which um, we never done anything with it. So maybe we can use the broken shotgun even. Maybe we can use both of them, depending on what you want, you know, what you've got on you. So let's try the flamethrower to start with. We'll head over there. We'll do a little bit of a dance with um, our new friend inside this room. Pull the lever and put the flamethrower on the hooks before like it disappears, because it's on a limited timer. Okay, so where's the person? Okay, he's, he's there, so let's bring her around. Follow me. Okay, the lever's there actually. So once we pull the lever, okay, we kind of need to go back to where we just came from. We've got the long way around, I think, I think we'll have enough time. So we'll pull this. Uh, we'll have to go right and go all the way around. Just open up the map quickly so I have an idea of where I'm going. Go straight. Um, yeah, just go around this corner. Is it? I think it's right in front of me. Yep. Now stand in front of it. Okay, there, there, there. Yes. Use. Yeah. Okay, that works. Good. We did it! <laughs> Alright, so where are we? What is this? This is co still Courtyard B2. Which just means Basement 2 in the Courtyard. Okay, this is a bit messed up. There's a load of dolls on the shelves. Um, like a ritual of some kind. If we go around this side, what have we got? Okay. Whoa! Snake, 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 snake. I hate snakes. I hate snakes. I hate snakes. Uh, are they gonna come up up the air? Um, hopefully they're. The, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Whew. Hopefully they are just um, water snakes. I don't think they are. I think they're probably gonna come inside the room. So I could do with having a pistol here because I think the magnum's gonna be a bit of overkill. But um, let's just have a little quick look around, see what we got. We got a dagger. Good. Um, there's still items to be found in here that we haven't picked up. Actually, wait there. Look at that on the behind us. There's a um, there's a there's a box, a jewelry box. It looks like. So will you take the jewelry box? Yes, please. Now, can we do anything with the jewelry box? Can we press buttons on it? Here we go. What's this? That is the stone ring. That's what we've been looking for. So this is what we came down here for a long time ago. There's still something else to be found. It might be back where the snakes are. Not a hundred percent sure. Maybe it's this journal on the shelf. No, the bed is still warm. Oh shit, that's spooky. So um, let's go up the ladder. There's some herbs. Maybe these are the items that were left that we didn't pick up. Um, I think our inventory is pretty full now, so we're gonna leave these herbs just because. Yeah, we didn't get poisoned, so they're kind of there to just help you if you get poisoned by those snakes. Which we didn't, so we can kind of leave them. There's no reason to pick up every single thing. We've got plenty of healing items in the chest. 
So let's go back up this ladder. I'm not too sure where we're going to come out. Is it worth taking the flamethrower off the hooks again? Holy crap, are we back in the cabin? Whoa! Back in the cabin. That's cool. So um, let's go in the chest. Let's put the pistol ammo away. I think we'll just hold on to... We don't even need this crank anymore, actually, because that was only used in the basement. But now we've got this... Um, let's get the metal object. We have the metal object. If we get the metal object now and we combine it with the stone ring... Ta da We have two stone and metal objects now. Let's get the other one out of the chest, because we're going to head straight to the, um, the doors now. Underneath the stairs in the mansion, in the hall. And hopefully we can get through those doors that have been blocking up half for a long, long time. So, trying to find where the other stone ring is. The object. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I know exactly where it is. <laughs> it's in It's in the wall. Because um, we have to put it in the wall to get through the door to get here. So once we leave this place, we'll be able to um, take it out when we go through the door. So let's head out, let's head back to the man to the mansion. Now we got this magnum. I think it's going to be quite powerful against those green monsters. So if we do encounter some of them inside the mansion, we can hopefully take them out pretty easily. I mean, we've got plenty of bolts with this gun because we haven't even I haven't even fired it yet. There should be a zombie down here somewhere. We can get around him if we go around the tree, like so. Here we go. Now I'm wondering if there's going to be anything else happening on our way back to the mansion. Like any cutscenes, if Barry's going to be around. I think Barry thinks he's left us in the basement, doesn't he, of the caves. But are we going to surprise him? I just hope that Jill in the cutscenes, she's not stupid anymore. I hope she, like, says to him, like, what the hell are you doing? Because he, you know, she's Jill is acting very stupid <laughs> lately. <laughs> It was awfully to see him who killed our star's um, friend, and he's been and he's like abandoned us and all that other stuff. I want to know what Wesker's up to as well, because he's been missing like quite a lot. We've seen him like at the very start of the game. We've seen him once in the residence building, and we just haven't seen him ever since. It keeps. Every time we meet up with a Stars member, we go, alright, how are you doing? What have you been up to? Okay, see you later. It's just, it's just really... like They say our main priority is getting out of this mansion. But, you know, surely you can get out a lot quicker if you stick together. You know, take down enemies quicker and all that stuff. So here's the stone ring object. Stone and metal object. Um, let's take it out. I'm going to go straight to the hall and go to the item... I'm going with there. I think it's a good idea to maybe go to an item room first and um, save because we've done quite a lot without saving. So if we go through this door and then take the second door along the corridor, should lead us quite close to a item box. Should be a monster in here somewhere as well. Yeah, there he is, and he slashes in the stomach and the back as well. Dirty bastard. Okay, let's go in there. Now there's going to be another monster inside. We may have to heal. Let me just check my health. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's heal. I do not want to die before we get to this same um, save room. There's another monster here. We <laughs> we may have to. I'm gonna when I come out of this room now after saving. Um, I want to go upstairs because I think it's a safer route to get back to the hall. And um, if we go upstairs, we move quite slowly, and that monster can really do some damage. So I think we might come out and try and shoot the monster just to get rid of him once and for all because he's he's damaged us quite a few times and it's getting a bit annoying. All right, so I've saved and I'm going to take two healing things with me because there are quite a few dangerous enemies ahead and I'm expecting to take some damage. Um, so like I said just then as well, we're going to go empty this exit this room now and we're going to shoot the um, the swamp monster just because um, I want to see how much damage this weapon does and also he's been a Big dick. He's been a dick lately, hasn't he? Is that one shot kill? Is that one shot kill? That is amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. One shot kill. That is good. 
wasn't expecting that to be honest. I was just expecting like two at the least. What we got in town. Alright, so I think it's a clear path now to the hall. There is one zombie in the corridor that we're going to go through right now who's lying down in the corner. And um, as long as we stay close to this wall, we shouldn't wake him up. See him sitting on the ground there in the corner. Alright, we've gone past him. It's fine. I think we're in the hall now. So let's go downstairs. Go underneath the stairs. We should be able to use our emblems. And something might just happen. I don't even know what is out here. I'm expecting like outside, outdoors, like a courtyard of some kind. So let's put this one in. Doo -doo. Let's put the next one in. Okay. This has been a long time coming to get this something. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Yes. Okay, so we got a good weapon as well. We got some healing. So anything that's ahead of us, we need to fight. We should be able to take out pretty easily. It's an old typewriter. Okay, so we can save there. Yeah, I don't have any ink ribbons on me. There's a chest there, though. Um, We've just saved, haven't we? So it'd be a waste to save again. Yeah. I didn't know there would, there would be a typewriter there, so I didn't save the save, you know. Let me just look at the map. Um, just some stairs at the moment. So we're in more caves. It's a bit weird. Is it strange that they've got a door that leads to caves, like, in the hall? It's a bit weird, isn't it? God, look at all, all these candles that are lit really, really scare me, because it means someone's here. There's a ladder there. Is there anything on this side? Um, doesn't, it doesn't look like. So let's go down the ladder. Here we go. Barry, what are you doing? Jill. You're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Start talking. Nice. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Oh, fuck. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Oh, there's a choice. Holy shit. There's a choice in Resident Evil. I don't believe this. Um, I think Barry is doing something with this monster. No. I can't do that. This could be a bad choice. Jill! Am I dead? Barry! Oh, Barry's gone. Maybe that's Barry's wife. Okay, wait, wait. Um, do we kill this thing now, or do we have to do something else? Shit, can we leave? We can climb the ladder. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Is that a new thing? Do we have the option to give Barry the weapon? Let me just check around. An iron gate grate blocks the path. There must be some way to open it. Okay, we push this. Can we push that off the side because I just noticed that was on a chain. Oh shit! Get the way. Let's push these things off while the monster's trying to kill us. It's good job we've got the magnum as well, actually, because um, it's very, it's, it's got a lot of stopping power. Will you take Barry's four four magnum? Is it the same as mine? You know what? Why not? It's got more bullets in it as well, isn't it? So. Alright, so Barry's photograph. So it's Barry's family. This is the photograph that fell out of Barry's shirt just before he fell in the pit. There's something written on the back. We love you, Daddy, from your sweet daughters, Moira and Polly. Okay, so they're his daughters, obviously. I think that's his wife that we're 
fighting against right now. So we, I think Barry was trying to bring his wife back to life. And we just kind of had him killed. <laughs> I think he might be dead. So there's one, there's um, two more things to push off the edges. We'll just shoot this monster when it gets close. Like, um, now. Just to get it, like... Okay, okay, okay. Wait, stop, Jill, stop, stop, stop. Go, just go, just go. YOLO. <laughs> Okay, the the the, uh, the coffin opened up. Mother! Oh no! Mother! Oh my god, I feel sick. What was that? What just happened? Oh my god! Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter to my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mummy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mummies can think straight, but mummies shocked and said because and sad because mummies unable to think of you all the time. So this is a this daughter. The daughter writing this letter. Mummy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They all started to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer, we have to escape. Listen to me Lisa, our chance to escape is the next time we when we go to the lab together, we'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance, okay? So when we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together, okay sweetie, be strong Lisa. Jessica Trevor. Okay, so I think Jessica Trevor is the woman that just jumped off the cliff. Um, oh my god, who? I, I'm a bit confused on who's who right there. The daughter and mummy were both getting experiments though. This is this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> what have we got here? A lift shaft? So I don't know if Barry's dead or not. I don't know what would happen if we give Barry the gun. I think Barry would have maybe killed us. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> oh, we're outside the courtyard. Okay. There's a large iron door and it won't budge. Okay, so that's locked. Let's check around. Um, yeah, see if there's like a lever we can press. Hang on, what's this? A circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem. Okay, we've got one of them. Carved inside. And I'm guessing it's going to be like an eagle-shaped um, hole. I think it's eagle. Let's check it. Yeah, we've got those two items. So, head back to the chest. Alright guys, um, that's the end of this part. We're going to go back to the chest, get the items that we need. The eagle shaped pendant and the... I think it was lion, was it? I can't even remember. Um, yeah, we're going to put them in there. Hopefully that will unlock the door in front of us and we can carry on. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.